titles. It's always like super handsome, amazing model gets that lady. I, That's that eyebrow, lady. eyebrow trim. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, Florida man gets, gets his hair cut with a squirrel. <laughs> What's going on, YouTubes? Um, Bob the Barber here at Beard Brand Headquarters, and I'm here with my new best friend, Keith. He's the number 27 best friend now, and uh, we're gonna give him a reset haircut. Let's see how it goes. So, kind of explain to me real quickly uh, what you were going for. What was the original? I was trying to grow out length more so on the top um, because I wanted to, I kind of wear my hair in this direction, right? Cool. And I was going for length and I wanted to eventually get it to kind of like come over. So like a uh, modern emo, so kinda, modern so, vampire. Yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a former uh, scene kid. So <laughs> yeah. I was trying to still live in those roots a little bit. I, I, I get it. What would be like a reset, like so uh, bring, it bring it back to the baseline? Down. Yeah, so um, really just all of this length kind of taken down a little bit. I still like length in the front. For sure. I do like to wear it kind of this direction and a little up. I like to go, I like to have my beard taken down maybe like two all around. Cool. With the clippers. And then um, uh, one on the sides. Okay. One work it up, one some off the top, yeah, 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 texture. Yeah. And then blend it in here, yeah. And then just. Like a nice little puff. Yeah, I got you. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, I, I can dig it. How are you so it's good like, with it's how do I remember, remember people? Yeah, yeah. There's a trick. It's a good barber trick. Give everybody a nickname. I don't know if it's because I'm Mexican and then like I don't even know some of my cousins' names because we give them like freaking crazy. <laughs> you know names, oh, all of them. <laughs> Nana, Boo Boo, you know. It's a, uh, and they all have beautiful names. Adriana, you know, Norma Laura, and it's a. Uh, but yeah, I just know them as like our our nicknames. Right. One of my my cousins, he's a he's a he's a cop. He's a cop. And he's handsome, and he's like capable, and it's, it's like a, just, <laughs> and we call him Guppy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Guppy. Yeah, yeah, he can probably bench press a house, and he's like oh, a nice. tough, tough dude. And yeah, uh, yeah I call him Guppy. Good. And they say like you can only remember a hundred people or something like that, like <laughs> scientifically, probably <laughs> the scientist. You know Joe Rogan. Um, yeah. Uh, the scientist arrives in Seriously, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think it's something like that. Like a, the na the normal human being can remember like a hundred names, and I think you know, there's like yeah, I probably know like five hundred of yeah. us. So it's the uh, it's the only thing that I'm good at. <laughs> Cutting hair is not one of them. Yeah. Getting that one started, um, keeping it pretty low. Gonna start to blend up into uh, the hair a uh, little bit higher. Um, on your parietal ridge. Um, yeah, pretty pretty basic stuff. I, I mentioned it before in other videos that I like to use the same guides, whether it's a, a skin bald fade, something with a drop, uh, a classic number two on the sides with you know four on top kind of thing. Um, I use the same points on the head. Uh, and since everyone's head's a little different, their points are gonna be the most natural to them. So someone's got a little bit of a bigger ear, uh, you know, a slanted, brow anything like that it's uh if you just kind of use the same guide points it's usually going to keep you in good shape and your hair stays really close to the head and grows straight down and it's thick so yeah. um yeah i uh, i'm finding myself coming in at a few different angles doing the stretch making sure that uh, i pluck all of them off before i go to the next phase Uh, we're on a two guard right now on the old Oster Titan. Big old rotary lamb, lamb cutter, sheep cutter. Um, knocking out the uh, last line, getting the next one started. Um, I'm going a little shy of where uh, most guys might, just because it's the first time I've cut your hair and um, you need to be comfortable with the shape of your head. And uh, I can, I, I do this often. I, at that point, I connect the, the top and the bottom and uh, use clipper over comb. Maybe a bigger guard, depending. I'm, uh, I'm a little disappointed that we couldn't talk you into growing a mule. Um, give me like a month. A month and you'll be over it. Yeah. You're like, ah, I'm ready to grow the mullet. Yeah, my hair will be long enough. 
and we can do it. Yeah, that'll make a... So it'll be just James at that point who doesn't have one. Only hold out, man. Yeah, I'm gonna... We'll, we'll get him. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll wear you down. Yeah. <laughs> and Artie, yeah. So he can grow like a really nice beard really quickly. We should do like a, it's a reverse mullet. Ooh, a yeah, a be beard beardlet. Just cleaning up the edges real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna go back in because the Oster blades are really sharp and really good at, at just knocking down bulk and cutting through a bunch of weight. Um, I would still like to go back over it with the adjustable just to finesse some of the the little divots and nooks and crannies. And right here, uh, same thing. I just follow the natural hairline where it starts to disappear. That's where I'll take up that trimmer, the closest thing, because then uh, it just matches these nice points on the head that I'll keep it looking natural to grow out smoothly. It's not gonna look out of place uh, on the haircut. And like, just like that, we've already run out of content, man. So it's just like, you're just gonna just sit here quietly. <laughs> um, Entertain me, Keith. What's the, last, what's the script? I forgot my line. <laughs> Line. Line, please. Uh, mullet. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, just mullet. It goes always back to the mullet. Yeah, I was thinking about getting a mullet. Yeah, that's where you go. Yeah. Regular haircut guy from Florida <laughs> considers considers mullet. <laughs> There's a uh, obvious like line of uh, or the blend has happened or lack of blend, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and start on the top and then we'll, we'll match these up because I feel like the amount that we're gonna take off, I wanna make sure, um, like I always say, leave myself a little, a little smidge, of, a smidge of room. You always say that? I, I, somebody caught me saying smidge a lot and they called me out on it, so I'm just gonna use it all the time now. So I'm gonna, there's gonna be stickers I'm gonna make stickers out of buffalo, plaid wow. buffalo. <laughs> it's gonna be a thing, man, I'm telling you. Smidgey moulets. Yeah, so it's about three weeks. You said that you wanted a little bit off the top, so I went ahead and just did a full half inch, which is about a month's worth of growth. Um, Cause you still have, like I said, and it's probably like a little less than half inch on on this front section because your your forehead starts to bend forward and it's a smidge more than the rest. <laughs> uh, we, could, we could go more. Yes, I like that. I, I always I always start kind of in the middle and then uh, we can always we can always chop off more. Um, let me uh, let me get through the rest sure. and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll reassess. Yeah, like this little wave right here. That's probably another half inch I could probably take off just to just to allow you to have a little bit more of that texture you were talking about when you style it. How long have you been here in Austin? I think it's getting close to seven years. Nice. Yeah, I uh, me and the fam were itching to get out of San Antonio. Yeah. No offense, SA two one zero. Count down city, but uh, yeah, man, Austin's always been uh, like a lovely, lovely, creative, open-minded, progressive, cool little town, and and here we are, man, seven years later, and it's treated me really, really well. So nothing but love for the five one two. Why is San Antonio called the Countdown City? Two one zero. Oh. Ah, damn! I get it, right. man. There we go. They even have a hand. They have a symbol and. You can honk your horn in a certain way and people know you're from there. So what I'm doing right now is uh, kind of set my, set my length uh, all around, you can kind of mowed it down. Uh, and I'm just looking at how much weight you have here. Um, like I said, you're, this little section of head right here starts to bow forward. So if I were to pull it up the way I cut the rest of the hair, this is, a lot longer, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig into it so that it doesn't have as much weight when you give it that that zhuzhed look. So I kind of set that baseline again, and then I'm gonna match those two guys up. So there's some short hairs here. That's where I originally had it, and this is where all that weight was living. So I'm just going 
Chop that off. Let's get right here. Yeah, because there's gonna bunch up right here since you're coming forward and then push this back. Um, having a little bit of a shorter section right here does not bother me all that, all that much. But, you know, I mix it up. It's pretty versatile. I'm not, you know, committed to any one sort of style. I I, I dig that. I, I appreciate that when, when cats... Uh, Get a little bit of variety, you know, slick it back, side part yeah. it, you know, get the madman looking on, super classic, but then also wake up on the weekends and just let it flow. Let it flow. There are nice hats out there that you can cover it with <laughs> if you did jack it up too bad. But now being adventurous, being a little more confident in those styling, stylings throughout the week is, uh, like, like I said, I, I can dig it. It'll happen. Has it got people back in New Braunfels? Yeah. Most all the family lives back there. Yeah, I need to get out to that river, man. Oh, yeah, do, some, you do some tubing. It's almost time. What we got like, well. Well, I don't know about this winter, man. This, is, this has been a weird one. It's been a weird one. It's been like, kind of cold sometimes. I feel like uh, I have to wear so many layers now. I got, you know, Scarves and sweaters and jackets in the morning, and then I'm peeling off stuff at the end of the day yeah. and putting it back on yeah, later. Oh, dang it, man. Yeah, straight, straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was turning them around, I could see there's a couple of little dark spots that I wasn't uh, too happy with. So, I'm just going back in with my, my one guard on the adjustable and using those front few teeth just to soften up those edges without having to restart the fade or anything. So, comb, comb, comb. Get the hair to lie down, see, see if there's any deviations and polish, polish, polish. You got any pups? I do not. You got any cats? No. Do you like turtles? <laughs> A big fan. <laughs> So you have a little bit of a cowlick here, like the hair kind of swirls right here, so just going at a different angle because I kept on seeing the little little weight right there and didn't approve. When I tell guys um, if they're like side parters and they just kind of come into the side, whatever, pretty classic, um, and in order to get like the best results from your cowlick, I usually will bat the hair around and what happens is it goes up and it falls in its natural like place. From there, you kind of just lock it in, follow it around. That way you have a, uh, a nice uh, cowlick swirl yeah. combed out as opposed to trying to fight it and it just sprouts every time and you're miserable and put 10 pounds of product in there. So yeah, like as you're doing one of these, I just literally put in my fingertips and, and just hit the hair around and see what it wants to do naturally and where, where it lands. That's where it gets... Kind of follow it like you just, Yeah, yeah. just kind of... The Fibonacci sequence, man. It's like some, you know, some real, some real stuff right there. So I'm gonna give your head a break real quick. Um, move on to the le beard. Okay. Um, nice natural lines. You said two all over. Two all over. Yes, um, so what I'm looking for is where you do your your line right here. Uh, mm -hmm. So when you look straight forward, yeah, I like to make sure that the neckline is no lower than your, the longest part of your chin, whether it's a beard or just the chin itself. Um, I like to tuck it up just enough so that the face looks nice and sharp. You don't have a, a double chin, essentially, um, without taking it too high. So yeah, you're in good shape. It's usually right above the, the Adam's apple, and that's where we're, we'll start today. I try to stretch the skin quite a bit here since these pores are so, um, beard hair and facial, facial pores are pretty big most of the time, and uh, these teeth on these clippers can snag every once in a while if you're not if you're not too careful. So to avoid any jagged edges, I'm going to stretch that neck, neck skin. What's the longest you've ever grown your beard? Um, I, 
had to have been like uh, maybe like four or five months worth okay. of just like not touching it and letting it grow out. How'd you feel about it? Uh, at that point, I wasn't really into it. I, I feel like that was like um, sort of that weird transition period. I was Between just like, about to get yeah. to like real, real deal be- yeah, beard, and it then was just about to get to like serious business, yeah. Um, but uh, I tapped out on it. It happens, man. To the best of us. Yeah, I'll give it another go. Yeah, hanging out with all you guys with the, the moulets and the cool beards, man. I just want to grow all my hair. Just all of it. All my hair. All hair. <laughs> Everything. Back hair. <laughs> So I know you said natural, but um, a couple of these guys that are way above your normal hairline, I'll, I'll yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll pluck those off. Yeah, take these guys off. Go for me. So you've got a uh, lovely bone structure, great jawline, everything's really sharp. So using, getting the clipper in there, um, just kind of regularly, it's, uh, it's a little difficult. So what I can do is use a comb sometimes to, to do a little clipper over comb action in these little nooks and crannies. When's the last time you played Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> I have played. Oh, I, I believe it. Yeah, I've played. Yeah, I used to dabble. I used to dabble in the Dungeons and Dragons. Dabble in the Dungeons. It's really just more like, well, from my experience, it was more just like getting to hang out with your buddies, you know? It's like like going to the games, really. Like, yeah, it's just like, you know, yeah. You're doing that, and there's kind of like a board game going on in the background type of thing. It's like going to baseball games. Oh man, it's like the, the best. baseball games, really just hanging out with your buddies, and there's like a game going on in the background. Oh yeah. Stretch the skin out a little bit just to make sure I get a nice flat surface to run the clipper over. So right now I'm just clipper over comb, just some of these little dark spots that probably grow a little bit more dense than other areas. So I'm pretty sure the hair is just as long as everything else, but in these natural little this goatee section, it's uh, hair tends to be a little, grow a little d- more dense. So the reason why I jumped into your beard and let the hair rest a little bit, well, I wanted to, to, it to dry and kind of get into its natural state. Um, and just to see if anything else was surprising. So far so good. How many times has a barber snagged that that bar? Uh, zero. Zero? Okay, man. Yeah. Glad I wasn't the first. <laughs> There's a couple of times, man. I was like, Ooh. No, dude. Yeah, There's no feeling in that ear anymore. <laughs> yeah, for all the times that my mom would pull it to... It's, yeah, it's numb because of the piercing. It's 
That's some good stuff right there. Mr. Keith, you're done oh, now. Dude, this is great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you thought that uh, you weren't gonna see me around anymore. Well, it's true. If you wanna see me around, you gotta head over to Beard Brand Alliance. Otherwise, if you hate me, stick around here at Beard Brand. I'm not here anymore. <laughs>